In this lecture of business environment and ethical practices, we'll be talking about social responsibility of business towards employees, community, shareholders, and consumers. Although business organizations generally comes into existence to earn profit, to make money, but all the resources that a business acquires or arranges to get it, its operations running belongs to the society. In any case, no business should be only focused on making money and earning profits. Rather, it has a bigger responsibility. It has responsibility towards every party or every stakeholder or I should say every public which is associated with the business organization directly or indirectly. In today's lecture, we'll be talking about business the responsibility of business organization towards these various stakeholders. We'll start with social responsibility of business towards employees. First and foremost, payment of fair wages. The right wages must be paid, even if the even if a business organization has an opportunity to make people work at low wages. The amount should be set, set in a reasonable way. That human element, or the, uh, we can say now, that the empathy part must always be there. In no given circumstances, business should exploit its employees. And providing them good environment or good environment, or, or say, you know, uh, good. Uh, opportunity, payment of fair wages must be the first thing. Second, assignment of the right job. The right person should be assigned the right job. The provision of best possible working condition should always be there. At times, companies which are unprofessional, they tend to uh, cut cost and make working conditions very bad for, for the employees, but that should not be happening. Then establishment of fair work standards and norms. Apart from what government says or what various legislations or acts says, a business must first hand, it should make it sure that the fair work standards are there in the place. And these fair standards must be made for both blue collar and white collar employees. Provision of labor welfare facilities to the extent possible and desirable. Although labor welfare facilities are an added cost to the organization, but ultimately it is the people within the organization, the employees who are driving the entire company. So in any case, there should be a provision for their welfare. And although it has been written labor welfare, but the condition applies to all kinds of employees. Then arrangement of proper training and education should be there so that workers can or the people can, employees can uh, perform their duties well. There should all, also be a space for individual development wherein employees can learn something new, they can add on uh, to their and add on something to their skill set and ultimately it will be beneficial for the organization also. There should be reasonable chances and proper systems for accomplishments and promotion. So the work must be properly recognized. Proper recognition, appreciation and encouragement of special skills and capabilities of the workers should be taken care of and organizational politics should not hamper this particular element. Now let's talk about the responsibility of business towards community. First, it should uh, be taking appropriate steps to prevent environmental pollution and to preserve the ecological balance. At times, companies get too money-minded, become too money-minded and they don't bother much about the environmental hazards that they might be doing. But it is the duty of every organization, either small or big, that they should take care of the environmental conditions. Uh, Rehabilitating the uh, population displaced by the operation of business, if any, that should be taken care of. Uh, 
business must also assist in the overall development of the locality although it's not the primary job of any business organization but given the conditions the, this should be kept as a priority in order to pay something back to the society then uh, business must be taking steps to conserve scarce resources and developing alternatives wherever possible so basically we here we are talking about that social welfare ideology improving the efficiency of the business operation although every business itself aspires to become more and more efficient and effective but again it becomes a uh, responsibility towards community also because ultimately business is using the resources which belongs to the society a business uh, organization should also contribute in research and development because if it is not happening then new products or new technologies might not emerge business uh, organization should also look into if possible they should be contributing in development of backward areas they should also be making possible contribution to furthering social causes like the promotion of education and population control and this should be done in such a way that it, the prime objective is to actually uh, contribute something to the society it should not be a uh, eye wash and the business should also uh, be contributing to the national efforts to build up a better society many brands like hul dabur uh, bisleri many brands have been seen uh, have been seen uh, doing a lot of activities in this particular domain 